Hi everyone, this is Matt with Matt's Computer Services. Today we're going to help you install Zoom on your iOS devices for your iPhones as well as iPads. As everything has been moving over to online meetings lately, I thought a good tutorial would be very helpful uh, for my customers. And so we're going to go ahead and jump right into it. What you're going to want to do is open up your App Store. In the search bar, you're going to type in Zoom. Should be the first thing that pops up. It'll either say Get or for my case because I have installed it before it has this little cloud icon you click that um, it'll probably to ask you to type in your password or sign in if it is a brand new app but if not you're just gonna go ahead and click that once it's done uh, to go ahead and launch the app you're gonna hit open and if you want to make an account you can if you're gonna be uh, doing this more often but if you just need to do, uh, go ahead and join a quick meeting you just want to click join a meeting so what you're going to want to do in the top part is put in the meeting ID I have one right here that I have set up on my other device and let me give them one second and now we're gonna I'm gonna change the name so this allows you to put whatever name you want I'm just gonna type in Matt and then these options allow you to either have audio connected or to have your video connected which will use your uh, FaceTime camera. Next then you're just going to go ahead and click join and some meetings will actually have a password in this case I have the password here um, if they do not it will let you join right away. Um, these, all of this information will be sent directly from whoever started the meeting as this is the easiest way um, to send out your, the information and then you hit continue if it does ask for your password once you enter it it's going to ask you if you can access the camera hit ok um, and then you can go ahead and see what act, what the camera actually sees this gives you a real-time perspective you're going to hit join with video and this part will and then it'll ask you would it like to access your microphone you're going to hit ok um, and then if you want it to have notifications for you you can hit allow or don't allow um, you're gonna to hear others please join uh, audio you're gonna call using internet audio as you can see actually I have myself on a separate camera uh, doing this so when you're in here you can have it vertical or landscape either case it does it doesn't matter but today we're gonna use landscape in landscape I'm going to show you what all of these settings mean so if you tap the screen once at the top of the screen you can see the meeting ID under that there's the password right under it um, along with your option to control your volume so basically you can have it you can have it on or off this basically meets the other person or other people in the group chat now you can also check uh, you can flip your camera that's the camera icon with um, the revolving symbol and from left to right you have your mute button this allows you to mute your voice so if you don't want somebody to hear what you're talking about that allows you to do that then you can go ahead and click it again when it's when it has nothing there that's when it's actually you can they can hear you there's also a stop video so I can turn off my video uh, and they won't be able to see my actual camera if I click back you can hit share content this allows you to basically you can either share your screen you can share photos anything from your iCloud Drive um, or from Dropbox then you can also go ahead and to participants it actually allows you to see um, all the participants that are in the group chat uh, as well as you can access the chat here this chat function in the bottom left allows you to actually um, send messages while during the chat if for some reason you had an issue with your audio this is a way to go ahead and communicate that to anybody in the meeting if you close out of that you can click on more uh, that's also you can, where you can access the chat you can also see the meeting settings and you can add a virtual background um, as well as raise your hand or disconnect audio if you actually double click on yourself that's what will pop up and that will be the main view that you have double click back it will go back to the other camera uh, this is because I have another device set up besides that um, everything else is pretty simple to use 
uh, and I think everyone should be able to get a handle of this pretty simply um, after that uh, I think that is it and everything so if you guys like this video make sure you guys like it and subscribe for more videos coming out and tutorials and we'll be happy to help you out if you need any other assistance you can contact Matt's Computer Services you can go to mattscustoms.com and we can help you out with any services you have there there's a contact page with my phone number as well as my email address thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video